So um, I reported uh, a week or so ago that um, Japan was spraying all this pesticide. J Japan uh, agriculture was uh, flying helicopters and spraying. Well, <clears throat> it's raining now. And um, I don't know if you can see, but all the, you know, the budding fruit of the plant is there. <clears throat> and um, ultimately, um, we know from research that up to 80% of the pesticides that are um, sprayed on plants are absorbed by the new growth and the fruit. So all this pesticide that was sprayed on top now is basically getting washed down and getting absorbed into it. Now what isn't absorbed, okay, is going into these ditches all right, are gonna flow eventually into these ditches and go into the stream down here, which I showed you. Now, understand, um, you know, I've seen a lot of ore, metal ore, so I believe the water in Japan is relatively heavy. And recent studies in Indonesia with Roundup and other, has shown that these pesticides will, will bind with the metals in the water and actually it will sequester them. So if there's heavy metals in the soil, like not heavy, you know, um, iron ore and other things, and um, then the the, um, the pesticides will actually bind with it, and it can stay. The half life can be up to 20 years. So you know, this stuff is really, really, you know, toxic. And, and, and this is another. I wanted to point out something else. This is not GMO wheat. Okay, Japan is GMO free. So. Notice there are no weeds. There's absolutely no weeds in this, and there's this is not a GMO crop. They have not sprayed any any um, um, you know weedicides, weedicides, like herbicides, weedicides, herbicides. Right? That's a that's a dyslexic fuddling of the word. Right on it, and there's absolutely no weeds. Why? Because see, Japan has a very methodical cultivation system where they basically know how to control weeds using basically water by flooding and and they till see if you really really super till a, till a field right i mean you till it a couple times not just one time but actually three times japanese till their fields like three times and they go really slow like a mile or two an hour and do a really fine tilling chopping up all the weeds then you don't need to use these GMO crops. So this is proof that on another side of the coin that you don't need GMO crops. That if you prop, practice proper agriculture, right, you can you can actually you can actually um, you know plant without weeds. And this should be a lesson to basically all the American farmers and all the farmers out there about you know about farming. You don't need Roundup. So, but my concern here is the simple fact that all the, the, the systemic pesticides and all of Japanese pesticides, from what I understand from a farmer, pretty much 99% of them all systemic. So this was probably, this was most likely a systemic um, fungicide or pesticide, right? I use, the, when I use the word pesticide, I mean in the broad sense of the term. So here it is raining and now all this pesticide is going into your beer your Japanese beer. Enjoy it.